Assalamu alaikum. This short presentation is on suturing of wounds or defects that have more than the conventional two sides to the wound. Uh, this is how to suture a wound or a defect with three or more uh, sides to it. This becomes crucial when we move on to how to use local flaps or Z plasters to reconstruct defects in the head and neck or the face. The key to a successful outcome in these elaborate procedures is not just very good planning, but also precise uh, uh, suturing of the tips of different flaps meeting at one point. When would we use a three-point junction suture? We use it in situations like these, when there is a need for precise suturing of the tips of several angled flaps of skin. And commonly, and when you are doing an M plasty, whether the conventional M plasty on a fusiform shape uh, wound for a defect, or when you are using it in combination with an S plasty, when you're doing Z plasties, particularly multiple Z plasties with several corners, or when you're using a V into Y advancement flap, uh, changing a V-shaped defect into a Y defect with a three-point junction, or when you are uh, using local flaps, local facial flaps, either rotation or otherwise, to fill up uh, a defect and using a Z plasty at one of its end as well. Uh, all these are examples of situations when a three-point junction suture will be required. The three-point junction suture is different from the corner stitch. We use a corner stitch when you have a defect with two sides to it. One of them is angled with potentially reduced blood supply. In contrast to the three-point junction suture, when there are three or even more different flaps all meeting at one point. And the corner stitch, which is basically a half buried horizontal mattress, you have your suture material on the surface on the wider side of the wound and deeper to the surface on the other angled side of the wound. That's to avoid compromising and already reduce blood supply to the tip of the angled side. So you pass the suture through the skin on the wider side. On the angle side, you avoid placing it on the skin. You pass through the deep dermis, four to six millimeters from the tip. Bring it back to the wider side. And that's where you are going to tie the knot. And this is basically a half buried horizontal mattress suture but you've avoided compromising the blood supply to the tip and placed it precisely to fit on the other uh, concave angle part of the skin on the other side. On the three-point junction suture, on the other hand, you would have to do the subcuticular dermal suture on the three flaps rather than just once like in the corner stitch. In all of the three flaps, you would pass your needle horizontally into the derm, in the deeper part of the dermis on that side, retrieve the needle, and do it again on the other two sides, a deep dermal suture. You try to avoid passing uh, close to the tip by about four millimeters, and you use an absorbable suture like a 4O or a 5O monocryl or vicryl, and once you've retrieved your needle finally, you tie the knot in two directions because of the special Y configuration of the wound, and then you have a buried knot under the surface with good alignment of the three tips together without compromising their blood supply. This precise surgical technique will be crucial and the reconstruction of complex wounds in the face or in the uh, use of several uh, flaps, including the uh, M flap 
ambiplasty, either alone or combined with an aciplasty, with the use of the V into Y uh, technique, or with various Z-plasties, particularly multiple Z-plasties. Salam alaikum.